Aries, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you are interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, remember, everything happens in cycles. So right now, the current cycle that you're in is building a foundation, okay, around things in life that leave you feeling very... Um, mm, Connected to who you are, yes, but more so really determining how your energy feels in certain situations. And so the more that you spend time doing things that you love, like creating art, your art is going to look different than other people's art. Your art might be, you know, painting pictures. It might be drawing. It might be exercise. It might be creating meals, right? It's uh, Your art is going to be unique for you. And what your art means is that it's a space where you are in, that you're present in the moment and fully lost. Let's say the flow state, right? We, we want you to understand anytime you're doing something, that leaves you feeling disconnected from your world and you're just there present. It's like your, it's your time, right? It could be a yoga a session, right? It could be anything, right? But when you, when you spend time in that art center, in that, in that place of creating art, you are going to be able to let go. And so right now we want you to build up what that art is, discover what that art is for yourself. See, a lot of the times when we do things that we love, we almost judge ourselves. We almost blame ourselves. We're like, why do I like this? This isn't irrelevant. This isn't relevant. This isn't going to get me rich or make, you know, make me fall, make someone fall in love with me. But as a matter of fact, on the contrary, it actually is because the more things that you do in your life that you love, you raise your energetic frequency to love and you receive guidance afterwards because once you've let go for a while, that's when you're in a peaceful Zen, Zen mode and then clarity comes. That's when the guides can drop in. So spend time figuring out what your art is, what you love to do, right? Without doubt, without fear, because we see here that there's a lot of fear present for you, Aries. No need to fear. If you love it, it's for you. Own it and crush that, right? Crush that ish. That's yours. That is yours. That's your uniqueness, right? Don't ever doubt yourself, right? Now, Another good practice is energy work, running energy through our chakras. This is a good time to do it whenever you have like a morning coffee or tea. Give yourself that sacred time, right, where you are just with your energy and run some white light through your chakras. Do not watch TV. Don't, don't do nothing. Just be there. Listen to some nice music maybe, right? Sip on your drink, run some energy, right? And that would be a great way to start that day because, again, you are going through a phase right now in a, a particular cycle. And through this particular cycle means that all you're asked to do is follow on the follow the things in life that leave you feeling creative. Remember, there was a time in my life where I was, we were building businesses and what left me feeling the most inspired and the most creative was every morning spirits woke me up or I, you know, I was inspired to wake up around, you know, five o'clock and I would, you know, I would run energy through my chakras. I would learn and study spiritual leaders and I would take notes and I would self-reflect and I would get a little exercise in, a little movement in. And it was like my whole little spirit morning. And it, I realized that was what inspired me. That was what felt so good. That was my creative time. That's what brought forward so much uh, creative energy. And then I brought that into our business making, right? Our business d decisions and choices, right? Connection. This is what we want for you now. Just follow whatever you feel inspired are called to do, um, but understand that is what is going to get you through this next phase, okay? This next phase that's going to lead you to a soul-inspired activity, because remember, that time in my life where I was inspired to do all of that, that was spirit building this foundation, building this foundation to align me with where I am today, getting me ready to be ready. And guess what? There, when I first was starting out and I was first being inspired every morning to do that, that was a peaceful time in my life when I was inspired to do that, right? But then I hit a cycle after that where it was really un uh, unnerving and very much full of fear, right? Energetically, we feel fear. So it felt, it feels fear, fear feels real even though it's not, but it feels real. So when we, when spirit guides you and inspires you to take action on things that leave us feeling good about ourselves, right? For me, it was exercise. It was, it was connection. It was, it was journaling, right? Then I could, we can lean on to those things in moments where life seems like it's going through the changes, right? Cause there's always transitions. There's always transitions. There's always changes. We're never where we're going to be forever. Right. And so sometimes when we, when we don't have these things that we do for ourselves, the energy work, the, the creative, uh, release the creative outlets, right? What happens is we become feeling very uninspired and choices become very difficult for us. 
So when we have something we can lean on, at least then when we have a difficult choice or the energy feels difficult, we have something we can lean on that makes us feel better, you see? Because we see here that you're going through a transition. And that transition is leading you to a beautiful new opportunity inspired of, with passion and excitement and, and joy. And again, that, that's what's leading you to uh, clarity, to a purpose, to your purpose, to your service, you see. And this is the, this is the, the state you're in. That's why don't doubt or feel like you're not doing enough or you're not doing anything by being called to meditate and or 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 practice your your form of art, you know, or run that energy and be aware of your energy, right? That's that's you doing what you're supposed to do. And so often on our journeys, we have it in our heads that like, oh, if we're not like some big CEO of a multi-billion dollar company, like we're failing, right? And it's so not the truth. If anything, like who does do that, right? It's like a small number of people, right? And and then you have to you have to look at their health state and their mental aware their mental health state right so at the end of the day it's not for everybody if those beings that chose to do that they chose to do that that was their life plan right so most of them are pretty happy doing it but at the end of the day your life plan is going to be very unique for you and what spirit's getting you ready for is what comes next for you and we can see that here because there's an incredible new adventure and journey waiting for you one that's going to leave you feeling so grounded with who you are so aligned with who you are you're going to be oh you're going to be united right with it so don't doubt or fear the changes that you're feeling or where you're what what you feel good about know that what you feel good about is spirit connecting through you is spirit guiding you those are your guides those are your angels that's spirit the realm of spirit so what we want you to do is we want you to prioritize what feels good for you right? I prioritized that morning routine for myself of waking up early, meditating, getting the energy work and learning more. It was all about learning, right? Whatever we learn, right? Uh, getting that exercise in because all those things made me feel so good that I just wanted to do them all right away because it feels so good. It's like, well, yeah, I want to do these things because they feel good, right? So set boundaries in your life of doing what feels good for you, right? And then when something doesn't feel good, recognize it. When I eat too late, ugh, I don't feel good because then I wake up the next day and my morning's off and I'm so full and then I, then and maybe I just want to not do anything, right? I don't want to keep up with my spiritual work, right? And then so, and, 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 and same with everything in life. Oh, if I do this thing, like, right? If I drink too much coffee, I'm overstimulated in the day. My stomach feels sick. I got to overeat. And then I feel exhausted. Then I crash, right? Recognize what choices you're making that do not work for you now in this time and space. But more importantly, recognize what is feeling really good for you. So you can focus on that, expand that, right? And then the bigger picture will be made clear for you you see and the bigger picture is a beautiful new opportunity waiting for you waiting for you oh my gosh Aries this is going to be incredible so again please just focus on your energy right now focus on running energy focus on your art however your uniqueness expresses yourself right very important. And there's lots of different um, f ways that we can create art for ourselves, right? There's, 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 it's just wherever you lose yourself, right? When do you lose yourself? When do you lose yourself in the moment? You just feel so good. You're in it. Maybe it's creating something, right? Maybe it's creating like Instagram pictures or designing something, or um, maybe it's again, making a meal or, you know, maybe it's exercise, you know, but either way, whatever you love to do, prioritize those things, prioritize those things. And we can see here that it's going to lead you to a new, another, another path in life with that two of wands. It's going to lead you to opportunities and new beginnings and away from the energy that you're in right now. And this is the journey that you're on. And it's looking really exciting, really exciting with that King of Pentacles, right? So know that the attention that of, of your awareness and what you do in your today, it creates and unfolds your tomorrow, right? So think about that really, right? Let that sink in. So what I focus on today creates my tomorrow. So if I'm focusing on worry and disappointment and fear and how I don't want my, I want my body to look better and I want money to look better and I, I want no more debt. If I'm focusing on the fact that I don't have these things, I'm just creating more debt and, and more unhappiness with myself. So focus on what you love, focus on what makes you feel you, focus on your art, focus on on, on, on building yourself, right? Uh, mind, body, and spirit, right? Focus on all these things, right? And if you kind of like set a, a kind of a, a boundary in a sense where you're like, okay, every day I'm going to move, every day I'm going to meditate, right? Connect, right? Every day I'm going to, um, you know, have the intention of fueling my body with, with, with whole foods, right? And recognizing what foods that are, are whole still don't work because not all whole foods work for each of us. Be aware of that, right? What do you actually like to eat? Don't do something because you think you should or because someone else did it and it seems like it would be right. Actually do what you want to do, right? Every single decision, is this what I want to do, right? And, and 
ultimately prioritize that, right? Prioritize that and know that your life is going to unfold. So the universe is giving you courage. Your angels are giving you courage. They're saying, go for it, beautiful soul. Don't let fear hold you back. Choose the choices that feel good for you. And they're saying your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. So whatever you feel best at, prioritize it, right? Set those boundaries on the side to give you extra boost, clear your energy, run energy through your chakras and have a healthy practice of your art, right? So it's soul inspired hobbies, whatever project we're creating, business, career, whatever it is, taking care of our energy. So clearing away energy through movement and energy clearing practices, watching what we eat. It's all synergistic. Your energy is all synergistic. Prioritize how you feel and then you'll be able to recognize when something doesn't make you feel good, you can acknowledge that, set that boundary and ultimately create and live your absolute best life. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.